Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome back to my 100 favorite movies of all times 2024 edition. This is going to be 60 to 41 if my math is correct. Now before we do officially get into this list, technically I shouldn't even have to be doing this disclaimer, but alas I shall because then people get a bit upset. This is my list. These are the movies that I like. These are not the movies that you like. This is not your list. This is not 100 greatest films of all time. This is not IMBD list. This is my own personal list. All right, let's go. Number 60. We're talking about 2014. This is the Grand Budapest Hotel. This one actually has dropped a lot. I remember it used to be, I think, like top 10 for a while and then top 20. But I haven't seen it in a very, very long time. But I know that I used to love it and I kept meaning to rewatch it prior to doing this list to see if it needs to go up higher. But at last, I didn't get a chance to rewatch it. So moving on to number 59, this is going to be a 1998 movie, another Tom Hanks movie. This one actually did move up on my list just a little bit from the last time that I did the, the list. I try not to look at the list because it's always constantly changing. But this is a movie that I, I kept debating whether to put on my list or not. But at the end of the day, I'm like, dude, every single time this damn movie comes on TV, no matter where it's at, you literally sit there and watch. Even Private Ryan is at number 59, but I know it needs to be up higher. I know that. I know this. Don't come at me. On number 58, we have a nice little bit of a little classic. The one that came out in 1982, and it's going to be E.T. the Extraterrestrial. E.T. phone home. Oh my god, I used to like cry so much. I love this ride um, at Disney. I don't know if they still have it. The board game, there is a board game. Love the board game as well. It's really hard, so I'll fully recommend that as well. Now we're moving on to number 57. We're still in the 80s. 1985 and this is just a bunch of misfits that have to do Saturday detention. This is The Breakfast Club. 56. This is going to be a 2003 movie. I'm actually going to, it's technically two parts. Two parts that was four. Two parts but I'm joining it as one because the director does say that it's technically one right but there's like a volume one and a volume two and I do like them both. It just depends on kind of like when you catch me. There's sometimes that I do like volume one better and there's sometimes that I'm like I like volume two better. So Bill volume one volume two I'm actually doing like a two for one. Like I can say I'm cheating but it is what it is. <laughs> Moving on number 55. It's gonna be a 2018 movie. <laughs> The chokehold this movie had on me. The tears that this movie made me shed. I believe this is the movie that started me going to movies multiple times. Not like a lot. Like I've only seen maybe like a small handful of movies multiple times in theater. Usually it's just one time. But this particular movie that is a remake, that is a musical, I did not just see once at a screening. I did not just see twice when we took my little sister to go see it. I saw it three times when the extended version came out. And every single time I cried. But second and third times, I was prepared. I was prepared with my box of tissue. And this is A Star is Born. I love the music in it. Absolutely adored this movie. Lady Gaga killed it. Bradley Cooper killed it. I just, oh my god. Number 54. We are moving to the early 90s, 1990. This is one prostitute that gets picked up by a handsome man. It's like, can you help me get to my hotel room? Can you drive my car? Because I don't know how. Well, it's not my car. It was somebody else's car. But anywho, we're talking about Pretty Woman. Pretty Woman. Number 53. We're going to 2008 because we love those a little rom-com. We have one of my boyfriends up in this movie. Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. It is so good. Like I just wish I lived in New York. I love Michael Sarah. Yeah, I have like the biggest crush on him. We're going back to 2003. Wait. Not back to 2003. Yeah, back to 2003. Number 52, Vampires. I love me some vampire movies, okay? Not like a lot of them, okay? But I do love me some. But this particular franchise, I like the first three ones. And then after that, it got so crazy. And I was just like, no, why? What happened? No. And it's gonna be Underworld. We love us some vampires. We love us some likings. We love us some Kate Beckinsale. It's kind of where I fell in love with Kate Beckinsale. Just like kick ass, like bah, 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 bah. Yes, we love this a strong female character. 51. I'll never let go, Jack. Titanic. I, yeah, I feel like I should have known Titanic was going to be on this list at one point or another. I didn't see it in theater when it first came out, but I did see when they brought it back. 
to theaters. But every single time that I watch this movie, like since the VHS, when we get to the the captain. And he's like looking to the side and I'm like and that is when the VHS ends. And then we're gonna move on to number 50. We're going to 2012. It's gonna be another Quentin Tarantino movie. I love me some Quentin Tarantino. It's gonna be Bingo Unchained. Absolutely adore it. It's so great. But then we're gonna go on to the 70s. The late 70s. 1979. It's gonna be number 49. This is another very beloved classic do you prefer the original do you prefer number two i like them both but i kind of like the first one better the second one is great because it's more like actiony right it has more like pew, 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 happening and it's just like a lot right but like there's something about the first one that i'm like huh i do have a review on both of them because they were part of my 13 nights of fright so they're actually pretty new for me personally, it's gonna be Alien. Moving to number 48, 1997. Supposed to be 1990, no, 1997. It's a Bruce Willis movie. We are futuristic. Excuse me, Whew, that soda is trying to come out. What was I? The Fifth Element. Fifth Element. And Mia Jovanish. I don't know how to say her name. You know, kick ass, we love us. You know, kick-ass woman, like I said, with Underworld, I just, I love it when they're not the damsel in distress. I mean, yeah, she had a little damsel in us there, but she was losing hope because it's like war and everything. It's like she needs to know what love is because she doesn't know love. And I want a magical microwave that can make me chicken like that, too. But we're going on to 2001. It's going to be number 47. You know what we're going to do in the morning? Well, you know what I'm going to do in the morning if you let me stay over? I'm going to make waffles. Yeah, when I tell you, I remember the first time that I watched this, one of my friends from high school let me borrow the VHS because she was always talking about waffles. I was like, what the heck are you talking about? She goes, you haven't seen Shrek? I said, no, I haven't. She goes, girl, I have the movie. Let me let you borrow it. So many, but I'm, I like the first one the best. For 46, I do love musicals and all the musicals, not all the musicals. I don't know how many musicals I have, but it's musical number two. I think it's, I think it's musical number two. I don't remember what I had before. But musical number two in this, 20 section of movies and I know a lot of people don't really like this particular one I love it when it comes to this one and the star is born like I don't think I've listened to the soundtrack and or had a song as my ringtone besides like these two like literally since this movie which is the greatest showman by the way one of the songs from this this movie literally since the movie came out 2017 has been my ringtone this whole time up until what was it a couple months ago last year when well, I don't even remember when Blink-182 came out with their new song one more time one last time I forgot the name of the dance song we're going to number 45 we're going to what is my favorite year 2019 this is a movie that I love to watch just to kind of cleanse my soul and you're like what does that mean it makes me cry five feet apart loved it loved it <laughs> I always cry I there at the end obviously oh I'm seeing it in my eyeballs my eyeballs my eyeball memories <laughs> It doesn't make me cry. No, we're not going there. We're moving on to the movie that caused this right here to happen. And this is 1996, and this is Twister. I was outside, and I was like, I wanna see, I wanna see. And then I slipped and fell, and then I broke my hand. This movie right here is the cause. It's Twister. I was trying to get my meteorologist, storm chaser going, and then like God said, girl, you need to sit your ass down because you ain't about that life. Stop trying to do stuff. Stop trying to do stuff. Number 43. We're going to 2004 and we're going to a superhero movie, but not actual people who give it superhero. I don't think I have any superhero movies. This might be the only one that I have on there. Maybe, I don't know. Don't quote me on that because I don't even know what it's already been on. But I don't really have that many. Like, I love superhero. I mean, I do love superhero movies, but not like all time favorite. I'll be laughing when the other ones are up there. I don't remember. I don't think I have that many. I may have one other one, I think. Anywho, um, this is gonna be a great Incredibles. I love it. Great. Um, Incredibles number one. Number two is good too, but I, I'm gonna put the original. Number 42, we're going to 2013 and we're gonna do some comedy because I love to laugh. And we're going with my boyfriend Marlon Wayans because I love him so much. And this is a haunted house. Yeah, I remember I went to go see it and then like he came to do like a Q&A because it was a screening. And I was just like, ah. And I told you I fell in love with Marlon. Ever since I saw the Wayne's Brothers. I think I saw the Wayne's Brothers before I saw the BMW Self Central Drug Energy in the Hood. 
might have been around the same time i don't know but i just always always everybody was always about sean sean and sean and i'm like do y'all not see marlon over here do y'all not see him because damn and man he has age like fine one and i'm just like Rah! loves him anywho this is a great freaking movie i love it what, <laughs> what happened to your furniture cuz <laughs> i'm gonna have to watch it now then last on the list we got 2020 number 41 and this is a movie that they were it was like controversy against it and I think it got banned for a moment. Damn it, I probably should have it up higher. I really, like, oh my, okay, if you know me, I love blood, gore, murder, stuff like that. I don't like scary stuff, right? We've, we've, we've established this. The hunt, so crazy. Like, sometimes, when she, like, gets herself up, and she's just, <laughs> and she's all like, Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Let me laugh at myself. <laughs> These are the next 20 bunch that are some of my all-time favorite movies as of right now. As you can tell, there are some movies that I'm like, damn it, I probably should have moved up. Because again, I am like a mood watcher, so it just depends on how much I love them that particular day, week, month, or whatever. I'm going to be finishing up this series in July. I Don't quote me on that because I'm there. <laughs> I don't want to lie, but that's my goal. The goal is to finish this in July because it's been like two months since I did the last one. Okay, like hear me out. What had happened was, I don't know what had happened. It's just like, let me know if you, any of my movies happen to be on some of your list. It's okay if they don't. It's totally fine because again, this is my list. That, that, that be your list over there. But don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that other good stuff. And until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.